Hello, I am Bo Grzeski, and today we will be exploring Apple iMovie. It's an app that can be used to record footage on your iPad, make trailers, and make great and exciting videos. So let's begin and check out how to get started with iMovie. To get us started in iMovie, the first thing you want to do is locate your icon on your home screen or in a folder. It looks like a purple star. When I first open up the app, I have my videos tab selected right up top. This is going to list all the videos that I have located on my iPad. The next one over, we have projects, which we're going to explore in a little bit, where we're going to create something. And your theater would be connected to perhaps if you did this on multiple devices on your phone or your Apple TV. And for the easiest one for people that have little to no video and experience is to make a trailer. So I hit my plus, create project. I hit trailer. You're going to see on the bottom that you have these various templates that you can play through. You can press the play button right above the template to see if you like it or not. And if you're good with go with it, hit create. And now I have these options to customize my outline. In the outline, I can click on a box. Instead of maybe into the wilderness, I could say into the disk. When you go to storyboard, this is when you can start to change these boxes off to the side with suggestions for landscape and two shots and how long that they are. If you see this first shot where it says it's 4.1 seconds, ideally it should be a landscape shot because that's how long it's going to appear when the trailer first starts. Now I've already taken all the photos and videos that I want and I arranged them into an album on my photo library. It's called iMovie Screencast down here. These are all of the footage that I have in there that I want to use. Right now my tab is selected into video and you can say that I have how much seconds that each one of these is on for. If I go into photos, again the same thing, I can go into there. These would be the photos that I have. I can also use my camera and I can either use the red dot or and I could take a still photo or a video and I could try to record something in the room or maybe myself. So it tells you it's three, two, one countdown. And it really doesn't matter what you say in the trailer because it's gonna get replaced by music anyway. So I'm gonna speed up my video really quick and I'm gonna to start to go through and I'm gonna replace all the other shots that I have in here by taking my yellow box and scrubbing it back on where I want it to feature. And once I hit the plus button, it's gonna put it into there. You also notice I now have this orange bar located right in the video clip so I know what part of the video has been used already. So I've taken the time now and you can see that I've changed up some of the pictures and videos through most of the, um, the trailer. If I want to see what I've done, you can see that my little red bar here is going to start to play it. When I hit the little play button, it will play right from there, and it's going to play in this little preview window. If I hit this play button, it will play it in full screen. So let's just play a little preview and see what we got so far. Okay, so let's say I'm all done with it. I can now hit done, and it started to save it. Here you can see the video even more. So let's say you're happy with your trailer and you're ready to share it off. Maybe you're ready to submit it if you're a student. If you click on the title right here, you could change the name. If you hit the X, it would change it and delete it entirely. If you hit the edit button, you would go back to editing your film clips. Uh, for example, there was a shot here where I was turning around and when I played it, I wasn't too crazy about where that landed. So I had to just scrub it a little bit more and fine tune it by hitting done. I can also adjust my speed on the bottom by hitting the turtle. I hit done. Again, hitting our little play button down here on the bottom. That would show you a full screen video. I could trash it entirely, but if I wanted to share this, I would hit my share button. And I have a couple options here. Most of them entail having a save video. I normally try to recommend using large, unless you want to send this right to YouTube. Uh, you could probably go with HD, depending on the space on your device. I know it's going to start to export my video. If you want to see the finalized version, check out the link in the bottom of this video and you can see what it looks like when it's all done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.